welcome to the Furniture Sisters. I'm Janelle. I'm Sheila. And we are going to redo this awesome piece. It's a Thomasville brand. It is seriously awesome quality. What stood out to us were all these neat woodworkings and the cute little handles. And it, we're gonna call this piece the Beauty and the Beast dresser because it kind of looks like one of those from the movie. What are we gonna do? Well, of course, the first step, we have to clean it. We're not sure. Uh, what we're gonna do with it, we have a few ideas in mind. You just gotta follow along and see the process. All right, let's see what we do. When you have old pieces like this, there is so much dirt and dust and typically a few spider eggs and a few um, spider webs in here. So we like to take our shop back and really get in every single part of the piece. And then we label the drawers so that they go in the exact same way. Sometimes if you put the drawer in the wrong way, it doesn't work. All right, so after we've cleaned, we uh, deep cleaned the piece, we either use a soap and water mixture with a green sponge. This piece we use a spray called Crud Cutter. Crud cutter has been used on the piece and all of the six drawers. We also took the hardware off so we could deep clean underneath the hardware. It left all those marks, but we're gonna keep the original hardware so not worried about those marks being there. Our next step is to use the Zinzer Bin Shellac Primer and then after that, we begin painting. Our next step after we clean is to tape off the drawers, the areas that you don't want the primer on, and we've taped off the dresser edges. And we are now beginning to prime. Sorry. We are using, let me show you, the Zinzer Bin Shellac Base Primer Ultimate Stain Blocker. We're using a Wooster Old Brush Booster brand because this is shellac based it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to clean the brush out so we don't want to use chemicals and deal with that so we just get an old brush and toss it out after we're done this dry primer dries really fast so you just work quickly and you watch for drips in the little crevices so why have we decided to prime this piece we are priming it to prepare it for paint. We're planning on using a light gray on this piece, so we don't want to run the risk of this dark stain bleeding through our paint. We also have some raw spots where the stain has just aged away. Yeah, this dresser is 56 years old. And it just prepares it for the paint to adhere better. Then we're gonna use this Stahlmeister brush. This is a one series brush, love it. It gives a really smooth finish. We're gonna use this wide brush to get these big sections here. So two brushes. We're gonna use the brand Rust-Oleum Chalked Paint and this is gonna be the color Aged Gray. When Sheila opens this up, she's gonna stir it up and then we're gonna pour into our cottage cheese containers. The reason we do that is so that we don't contaminate the entire can of paint. So we like to spray our paint brushes with water as well. You'll get a smoother application when you do that. All right, let's get painting. This is the fun part. Sheila is just taking the round Stahlmeister brush and going over those little curves. And then she takes the flat brush and goes up and down on the side of the pieces. So with chalk paint, you don't wanna overwork it. It dries fairly fast, so when you put it on, make sure you don't go and retouch it because that will ruin the paint stroke lines. On the top, she's just taking long, nice um, paint strokes adding the paint and then finishing it off. The next step is the protective top coat and make sure you stir it up really well before you put it on. We 
are using Rust-Oleum's top coat. What's it called? Rust-Oleum chalked protective top coat. Matte clear. And we're gonna put two coats over this entire piece. 